Okay, so first, now it's a bit of an unknown company, although it's probably one of the biggest parts and accessories suppliers to the trade. I wouldn't say unknown, Shane. I think unknown to Joe well, public. Yes, that's yeah, that's probably the, the best way to put it. Well, yeah, these boys are huge, mate. The, the big, big company, big company, and so yeah. everybody who's watching is actually going to find out. Uh, shall we bring him in? Yep. Welcome, Peter, to the show. Hello, nice to meet you, chaps. You nearly didn't. How are you? <laughs> yeah, it's just, I noticed when Shane said that I was going to be on, you you just left. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that effect uh, quite a lot, I think. How red did my face go at that point? I don't know if anybody noticed that at all. That's right. Thought, oh. no. yeah. Jay, Jason controls. Sorry, Jason controls everything in the background. All the comments that come up, all the bringing people in and out so i was knackered yeah that was it <laughs> I, I, I think you, i think you held it together really well to be honest <laughs> yeah I, I just about ran out it's a good job we came back in uh, yeah just just below richard uh, uh richard s where's the little tash jason <laughs> peter <laughs> peter lily, lily i think you want him go and get a pen uh, peter um yeah who are money at mate so Myriad Products are a wholesale distributor to the caravan, motorhome, converter market. We, um, we have a, a sort of team of reps that look after your, your caravan dealers, your motorhome dealers. We supply parts, accessories, cookers, air cons, windows. So it, it's, it's that classic company that the man on the street wouldn't have heard of, but we're involved in virtually every aspect of, of your motorhome or your caravan hmm. what are you what well, basically what what are your sections that you do do are they split up into different sections or yeah this, this is essentially there's two halves to, to the company so i work i'm an account manager in the what we call the retail um side which is your motorhome your caravan dealers um some of your online uh, sellers as well and then the other side is what we call oem and that is your, your VW T6 converters, uh, some of your motorhome manufacturers. So there's, there's two distinct um, halves to the company. Right. right. Okay. Is, it a, is it a big company or, uh, I mean, how many people work there, do you know, roughly? Do you know, I, I, this, 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 <laughs> I don't go in the office that often, <laughs> to be fair, because I'm, I'm out yeah. in the field. So there must be uh, at least 50 people um, working there, you know, large warehouse, uh, office staff and then uh, people out and about on the road as well so it's a good team um you know, the get-togethers are always good fun when we get together at christmas that type of thing so yeah no yeah. We're, we're, we're well established yeah i must admit i do have an account with you uh, peter um, because obviously forgetting all the thetford and all the spare parts for fixing the motorhomes uh, so oh, yeah. i have that's have an account now i'm not going to suck up to you but I must admit, every time I phone in for technical advice or for anything at all, the girls are brilliant. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah. If you need a schematic, if they need if you need a certain part, I'll be like, let's not order it, let me find out first. And it's yeah. not a case of waiting a day for them to get back to you. It's always that day. Yes, so that's I'll, right. Credit where yeah. credit's due there, Pete. Credit. Yeah, they are they are fantastic. And and from what I've worked out now, from working from home, I've been taking some of the office calls as well during the, during lockdown, and it's a really tough job. You know, one call after another after another, questions, <laughs> like I say schematics, and they do it and they do it quickly and they do it friendly. It's it, amazing. You know, I, I, I take my hat off to them. How did you get into the industry, then, Pete? Um, I've been with Myriad for four years. Um, prior to that, I worked for um, a sat-nav company who made um, sat-navs for motorhomes and trucks. So um, it allowed you to put the size of the vehicle in and would create routes according to those uh, dimensions. So I had a sort of slight in into this uh, industry. Uh, and then um, basically my old sales manager, um, got in touch through one of my customers and said there was an opening at myriad so uh so that was it yeah and uh i joined and it's it's been fantastic learned lots and lots of new stuff um efficiency and and the product range is enormous you know there must be 
twenty odd thousand lines that we can supply. You know, we oh, have the catalog like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that, that's just that's just um, skimming the surface as well. You know, it's unbelievable. Right then, give us a good accessory you'd recommend for your motor. Well, that's, I, it's, you know, out of all those twenty odd thousand lines, you're like, oh my god, what's um, so? I, I was talking to one of my colleagues and, and was thinking this and um, something is quite simple but it, it's so useful and it's a, it's a set of leveling ramps and so so if you get to your, your site obviously first thing you do you get to your site you might have a cup of tea in the van you put your cup on the table and, it, and the cup slides away on the floor because it's it's not level so so these ramps will level out the van so it's, everything's fine you know your sausages are going to roll to one end of your pan or <laughs> you slide out of yeah, bed. It's, not very, it's not very good when that happens <laughs> so it's, it's a very simple thing but can make such a massive difference to your trip um so that's that's definitely and you know the ones that we sell come in their own little bag so you can stick them in the garage at the back of the van bring them out when you need to how much are you Retail about 30 quid. Shall we buy a pair? Shane? Yeah. What for? Well, we're going to give it away tonight. <laughs> That's a good idea, Jason. Where did you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Just a man of many ideas. That's brilliant. Right, That's genius. <laughs> right, we're going to give away a set of leather. leather blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're not, they're not made of leather. Get these levels. <laughs> we want you to answer the question. If you are making your own motor home and you've manufactured your motor home and it's ready to go out, this motor home you've designed, doesn't matter what it's like, and it's ready to go out, what make and model would you call it? So, what make and model would you call your own motor home? Best one by the end of the night gets the ramps. What do you think, Shane? Yep, I like that idea. Yeah, and you, yeah. Good. I mean, it's, it's it's obviously a lot cheaper than getting a, a self-leveling suspension. What's yeah. free? Uh, sorry, level level is connected. <laughs> yeah, that it's is free. free. Even better. <laughs> it's saving about five grand. So, what make a model Sounds to call good. your motor home? Get them in the comments. We'll pick out the best one, and we'll send you over a set of leveling ramps. I can't say that shit. Level, level. Could you say it? Le 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 leveling uh, lap, le leveling. <laughs> you got me here, didn't you? Leveling, leveling. ramp. Uh, he just wants to yeah, say leather. Ramp. He just keeps trying to say leather, doesn't he? Leather. <laughs> That's the stokey. Any, any must have accessory you should have, Pete? It's, it's a difficult one here, Pete, because obviously, with you being trained, we've got a lot of uh, obviously Joe Public in. So we're trying to get your yeah. products more of what Joe Public would be, be interested in, really. Yeah, there's um, things like. Um, you know, we do um one one of the sort of popular things within the shops is um it's a roll on hose so so you can attach your mains directly into the van but the useful thing about this is um it's, it's a 10 meter hose but you don't have to unravel the whole hose so you got like you know it's, it looks untidy you just take out what you need into your van into the supply and that's it it will still go around it's this holder and, and out the other end <laughs> And it's and it's food grade as well, so it's not going to taint the water. So that's 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 neat. Keeps water trail, water trail leaky. Is that <laughs> the name of a fan? Yeah, I think so. I I, I quite like what uh, what Bob Burnshaw just said. I think it would make a quite a good name for the uh, for a motorhome as well. Reveling lamps. The reveling lamps. <laughs> 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 Best motor home gadget then. All of the gadgets. Well, back from my old days, you know, sat nav. It's um that routes according to the size of the vehicle, you know. So you put your height, your weight, your width. So it's not gonna take you down um, under a low bridge, it's gonna uh, make your motor home into a convertible all of a sudden. So uh, <laughs> so that, that's they're, they're great. And and you know, they're loaded with all the campsites across Europe. So you can just um search for which one you want. And you know it's going to take you on a route that's safe and, and easy for you. So you know if you're new to motorhomes, that that fear of having a massive wide van, um, it it reduces that. 
now, now something I see a lot on the forums uh, is people recommending sat -navs. Is the one in particular that you'd recommend? It is a question to see quite a lot. Yeah, it's it's basically there's probably three. I mean, you got your, your your traditional Garmin and TomTom, the, the two sort of big uh, manufacturers within the car industry. Now also have camper versions. Uh, the company yeah. I worked for was Snooper, and uh, their, their brand was Ventura, and which we do supply at Mirror from Myriad as well. And that was that's the original. So that was the very first sat nav that allowed you to right. route according to the size of the vehicle. So they've got the most experience. So and, and any glitches have been ironed out along the way. They have the biggest database of campsites within that unit as well. So as a gadget, I'd, I'd go with that because it's, it's it's really useful, especially in Europe. You know, it's it, the added stress of not knowing and driving on the other side of the road. It, it's just it's just one of those things. It just makes your life a lot easier. It's yeah, that's, that's definitely where you find yourself in trouble. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yes, answers that well, yeah. Yeah. Biggest selling product? <clears throat> well, it'd be within the spares, so it, it could be something as, you know, not, not, as a, not that exciting or gadgety as a, you know, a, a catch for a, a fridge door, for instance. You know, there's these things that will, will, will break, mm. you know, motorhomes and caravans tend to be built for, for lightness, for, for, you know, for weight, so which means a lot of the components aren't necessarily strong so you know you, you give something a heavy hand it will it will ping so fridge catches that type of thing you know always always popular and then consumables you know so you, you, your lip seal on the on your fresh up set for instance you know things that will generally wear out we, we supply thousands of things like that as well Pete, would you know the answer to this? Why don't they put proper sat nav in the motorhomes to start with instead of just a normal tom tom? Cost. So, the it's, it's quite interesting. This so the, the, tom tom and Garmin, whoever they they use um, mapping companies that supply the software. Now, tom tom have bought one of their mapping companies. Well, they charge a license fee. So every, every sat nav that uses this mapping software has to pay the, the software company for. For car sat nav, say it would be, I give an example, it could be uh, $1 per sat nav has to be paid to the mapping company to use that map. When it's got motorhome mapping on it, that becomes $30 for no, for no other reason than they can charge that, or, or trucks. It's the same for trucks. So you, you immediately, as a manufacturer, you're paying a massive, bigger chunk to make that unit. And then if you're a manufacturer, to buy it in costs more as well. So... Everyone, everyone's working to price points at the end of the day. I never thought of it that way, did you, Shay? No, to be fair, no. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it also gives it gives people like Peter a job to, uh, to be able to sell them after. Yeah, there, there is that as well. Yeah. <laughs> they all come with sat now, so who's going to sell them? <laughs> Stands to reason, though, doesn't it, after he's explained it, Shay? Yeah, it does, yeah, without a doubt. What Doing would well. be... Pete, what would be the biggest selling part through lack of make maintenance? Um, I'd, you, you probably think, and um, what's what springs to mind is something, um, say water, something relating to water. You know, when you when you store in your van or um, your motor home or your caravan, uh, frost damage. You know, so um, taps can go, um, elbows on on the pipes. Uh, pumps so um that through not properly looking after you know preparing your vehicle for for the winter months can have that effect on on various components i mean we do a kit there's um it's called a flow kit and it's a it's a drain down thing so you can um you attach it to your to your water system and then you you blow air through it either through a foot pump or a compressor and it blasts all the water out of the system so no nothing to freeze no stale taste or bacteria building up so when you come to bring the van out next season it's dry it's it's completely fresh so that's um you know we do a few of those and that, that's something that a lot of people don't do and then pay yeah. the price you know in the spring you know we'll see a big surge in people buying taps and things like that water's the main one if you don't drain down that's, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah. Um, I've just 
see if you can answer this comment here, but I saw, uh, I saw on one of the YouTube vids, they had a Swift that had a super sat nav that gauge widths, etc. Yeah, well, I mean, it, <coughs> not being too familiar what's in a Swift or whether it's standard within the Swift, but yeah, that's the kind of thing we've been talking about. So it would, well, in terms of you inputting the size of the vehicle, I don't know if he means that it would, you know, the, the actual Swift fan would be able to measure the width of something approaching. I've never heard of that, if that's what he means, but I've, I've not come across that technology. Um, by simple, uh, Caddy Duffy, do you supply anything for American RVs? Not generally. American RVs tend to use uh, sort of different heating systems. Um, a lot of American RVs uh, are designed to run off their own generator so they don't you know in terms of the, the electric side the, the power supply side mm. is, is a self-contained um you, you will find some things that that's uh, a universal but um yeah I've, I've a, one of my customers is a big american rv um importer and uh, and rents them out there's, there's not a huge amount that i can supply to him you know that some of the aircon units uh, if they're Dometic, for instance, then yes, uh, Dometic are a big brand in the States. So, so there's a, a few things there, but there's a lot of stuff that is unique to uh, to the States. Okay. Are they a company that hire out RVs over here, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. In the UK. Yeah. So, so they will right. spell them and then they rent them out um, for things like Glastonbury or Le Mans, that type of thing. Okay. What's uh, the name of that company? I don't think it's one I've come across before. So that's uh, Empire. Empire. Okay. Yeah. Bob Inshaw, I bought a Garmin Avtech sat nav. No sat nav in our Swift is standard. Yep, that sounds right. So um, yeah, Garmin's good unit in conjunction with Avtech. So again, size specific routing. So you can put in the, the dimensions. Uh, that's got your caravan club sites on that one. Russ Finn, fair point, Pete, but if they built £50 into price of motorhome to start with, that would then cover their costs and everyone would need to spend 350 on replacing. No, it's, it's, that'll be £50 into the manufacturer of the sat-nav, who then puts his margin, you know, so that manufacturer then has to build that into their cost price, which then goes into the vehicle manufacturer. So that £50 will snowball along the line. So that's, that's, the, that's at manufacturing level, that cost. So it's not what Swift would pay extra to have that sat nav. It's what Garmin would pay to build that sat nav. It's not. It's not quite the same. Right. Chas pads. Limiter's yeah. name of Motoro. Oh, Ooh. I got the wrong one. Up packs with Pete. Sorry, Gregory Menzies. <laughs> best brand of sat nav for an eight meter motorhome. Either either of those the, the three Snooper, Garmin, or TomTom. Tom. Um, the, the ones that are made specifically for camper vans you, you could theoretically also go to a truck sat nav um but there's some there's, there's more restrictions for trucks on certain roads than there is for motorhomes so i'd go with a you know dedicated tom tom garmin or you know the avtex or the snooper one for eight meters i have a bolingo van on the sat nav and contact center is amazing it's the best set nav i have used you can ask the call center to find an hotel in campsites yeah that's um that was something that was quite big years ago um before portable navigation really took off and you'd have certain cars used to have just a button on the dashboard and and you pressed it and it phoned a call center and you said i want to go to wherever and then it sent the instructions to your car. It was yeah. Uh, I did, I've, seen, I've seen that in the BMs and stuff like that, and probably yeah. moved, you know, There's probably a lot now that you can just press a little button. It calls a call center, concierge, yeah. I think it's called. Yeah. So back then, I can't remember what it was called now. Um, and it was um, it was it was good, but you, the, the subscription you have to pay quite a sort of high subscription for it back then. And then you know, satnavs came out as a portable unit and it blew them away basically. Yeah. The Liberator, name for a motor home. That's my favourite one so far. The Liberator. Uh, Star Taylor, Laker Fitter Motor Home Friendly Zenic E3756 is standard, but my TomTom -tom camper with live traffic beats it down. 
Yes, it's because it's it's made. You know, the, the Zenic is a, is a smaller firm. I think they're Austrian. Um, you got to get Tom. Sorry, sorry, Tom. Tom and and the, the camper version is uh, is more up to date than the Zenic. So yes, you, you'd be right. I'd go with that. To be fair. Uh, I have a Garmin Camper Seven Seventy from Alfred's. Brilliant set now. Yeah, good one. Yeah, I've used them. You can have a glut of sales now on sat navs, Peter. Well, listen, we, we only did the snooper sat nav, and uh, I didn't. <laughs> it's one of those <laughs> subjects, isn't it? You realise that uh, <laughs> it's, it's the one thing I didn't really sort of plan on talking about. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens. We plan, and it all goes pear shaped. Yeah, yeah. So I, I see what you mean now. It just it just goes off into one direction, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just bring me back on track a bit. In a second, how do you see the market going, Pete? What's the post post lockdown? Just full stop everything, mate. I think, you know, in, in terms of most of the retail, you know, prior to lockdown, there's there's a there's a movement towards the, the online um, sellers. You know, there's the, the, the wide ranging products and, and can get it to you quickly. Um, I think that's going to continue, and, and more so, like you're saying before, a lot of people now become a bit more savvy with with ordering online. Um, so it's, it's going to be tough for the, the actual high street shops and, and the, the motorhome caravan retail shops. Uh, some of them do have their own websites, but I think there's going to be, yeah. you know, definitely a movement towards them. But, you know, the, the other side of it, you, you still you still need those shops and, and that knowledge. You know, the, the bank of knowledge that's out there is enormous. You know, I, I turn to my shops and my dealers to ask for advice on certain things because they deal with these things day in day out so i think you know joe public the man on the street don't forget about these shops if you're going in and asking for advice on a part for your fridge buy it from them you know they need that money more than ever now you know Good so shout. It, it might cost you a couple of pence more it won't be a huge amount more but they need it so you, you're using their knowledge and reward them with the, the purchase at the end of it i think yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's something I tend to do, unless it's significantly different in price. Yeah. If it's relatively close, then I'll, I'll always go with the advice of the guy there or, or, or woman there because you just yeah. want to, you know, you, you are paying for their time effectively. Yeah, and, 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 and that knowledge, and if, say, it is a spare and the spare isn't right, it's far easier to go back and say, this thing you said, it's not working you do that online you've you know you've got no chance you know you've got to send it back and then you know, all the in, ins and outs of that so you know the the motorhome caravan uh, retailers have, have helped so many thousands of people buy their motorhomes have fantastic holidays they're going to be struggling to to survive so go back in speak to them you know buy things from them and uh, and, and keep this industry going that's what i think I think you probably supply nearly every motor and deal, to be honest, don't you, Pete? Maybe I'd. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a single one that hasn't got an account with us, to be honest. What about <laughs> sat nav updates? Did you not want yet, to say anyway. something? <laughs> I know you've not got you an account. Like me. Uh, <laughs> no, we've, we've only just started in retail, really, so. <laughs> There'll be a time. There'll be a time. Hey. What about sat nav updates? Can you upgrade without changing the sat nav built into the motorhome? Uh, usually not. It's. I'm just trying to think now of some examples. So an inbuilt sat nav, um, if you wanted to make, because you know, based on a Fiat Ducato, you'd have um, whatever sat nav is factory on there, which is not motorhome sat nav. To try and make that into a motorhome sat nav. Um, a lot of the companies don't do that. They don't produce a chip that you can just replace and put that one in. It's a replacement of the whole unit. Theoretically, it is possible, but um, manufacturers seem to avoid. It's almost too too easy to do. I think. So no, you couldn't. You can't upgrade the built-in one to uh, a motorhome one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No, that just makes it. You know. I guess sat navs can be a bit like phones, whereas you once you've got your brand that you like, you tend to want to stick with them. Yes, yeah. And, and um, I've noticed so that, um, you look at someone like uh, Kenwood. We supply Kenwood sat navs, 
uh, with, with motorhome navigation built in. Uh, and, and back in the day, Kenwood sat nav was, was made by them and it was their interface and so on. Now they, they use Garmin. So you know, if you're right. used to using your Garmin portable, you buy your Kenwood proper inbuilt dash one, Garmin's in there now, so you, you can find your way around it easy, and that's motorhome, you know, you know, put your sizes in and so on. Yeah, just I think that's a good thing. I, for some reason, I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't get on with the Kenwoods compared to <laughs> other mates. I, I, don't know, I don't even know why, but it's like I said, it's a preference thing. It's just like phones. I mean, I'm Apple, but some people are Samsung and so yeah. on. Yeah. Just just going back to that, I don't know if you heard earlier, uh, Pete, I ordered a hard drive off Amazon. It come the same day. Yeah. But, this is where the companies are stepping up because even when the product comes to you, it's like Christmas, how it's boxed and how it's packed. You've just said Apple there, Shane. How is Apple's packaging? Yes, yeah, it's, it's um, as they call it, an experience when you're on, on when you're opening that package. You've got the cellophane, you go around the outside and then it pulls off and then you open the box and you've got this nice shiny phone laptop or whatever in the box. That, that's building, it's building loyalty though isn't it yeah it is yeah 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 when you buy what it you know what's gonna happen what's your thoughts on that pete with the uh, how quick the delivery now and everything else because obviously you all yours is delivery as well isn't it yeah i mean we in order to match a sort of same day delivery you would have to have um warehouses dotted around all over the country to to allow that which is all that happens and can do and then they do have that um I mean, we hope we offer to, to our dealers a next day delivery um you know I, you can't expect a motor dealer to, to carry every single spare you know you look at the size of our warehouse no. so so next day is you know is, is the best that we can get without having 50 warehouses all stocking the same things around the country and yeah i don't think certainly on that sort of spare side of of, of uh, the business i don't think people expect or want things to arrive on the same day you know it's, it's not that retail experience on on that part no. No. um and if you look at the other things we do you know it could be some tables and chairs and, and cookware sets shops generally have those because you know something like a chair you want to sit in it you want to know if it's comfy for you it might look good on a picture on the internet but you, you sit down in it and because it's there in the shop you buy it straight away so so there's, there's there's different ways of doing it i think yeah i think i think with spares when i need when i'm fixing something i need a spare that i order from you i know it's going to come next day next morning um and that doesn't really bother me it's not as if i do actually need it now and i, I think you've hit the nail on the really hit it there because when you're on the retail side, when you do buy something, you more or less want it now, don't you, really? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I'm the same. I've been buying things during lockdown. Um, and it is exciting. And, and, you know, you made that purchase and, and, and you're on a little bit of a high and, and you want the product, you know, as, as quickly as yeah. possible. You know, you, people, you, people are generally impulse buyers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and even, from, you know. What's the best thing you bought during the lockdown? Well, well, this week it's been it's been a chain for my bike because <laughs> I, <broke, laughs> I broke the chain on my bike, so um, that's that's been a nightmare because I've been sort of trying to get out a bit, and um, you know the weather's been good, so you know no chain on the bike, it's just completely useless. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, it's, it's not it's not exciting. Um, I got my it's my daughter's birthday on Friday, so we've got lots of stuff that's been coming in for that. So um, obviously I can't say too much <laughs> what they are, <laughs> but but yeah, it, it's, it's nice when they arrive because you know that it's, it's you know there's no shops to go out and do that, that normal purchasing sort of um, method. So we're doing it all online and everything has arrived and and it looks like it's all packaged well, um, nothing is damaged. So so those purchases have been fantastic because I know there's going to be a little girl at the end of the week who's going to be chuffed to bits. Yeah. yeah. Understand. Now you said one of one of the areas you do is the Volkswagen. Um, just expand a, expand a bit on that, Peter. So, so the other side of the business, the, so the OEM side, um, looks after you know the the, the the converters. So you know the the, the man that gets a, a van and converts it into a, a T6, T5, whatever camper. So within that. He will need his, his cooker, his sink, his uh, his rib bed, um, 
the linings, all the sockets, and, and that's it. So, you know, we'll supply all of those things um, for that person. And, you know, we're, we're, we're an efficient company, so our prices uh, are the best out there. Um, like I say, next day delivery, we, we have vast stocks of those things. And, and they're very, um, they can be sort of tw uh, very time conscious as well. You know, they, they have build plans and what you can't afford is to have a whole van virtually finished except for one thing he can't then sell that van and that person that he's making it for can't take the van so you you know mm. we have massive stock levels to accommodate that so they know when they start to build a van they're going to finish it and they're going to get the money and move on to the next one is it popular pete is it popular what the, the what the conversion market yeah. yeah massively and it's 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 still growing year on year so it's it's huge. I mean, I'd I'd love a camper van. I, I I like the idea of something that's small enough to sort of go anywhere, um, and it's, it's got all the stuff you need. I've, I mean, we're a family of five, so it would be uh, it would be a squeeze. <laughs> best, <laughs> it would. Yeah. Best comfortable lightweight camping chairs. Any recommendations? Well, we've we've got some coming in um, that we've, oh, uh, we've, we've designed <laughs> ourselves, and um, I think they're due to land um, possibly this month, maybe next month, I think. Um, but they're they're really good. I mean, in terms of comfort, fantastic. And um, there's three different designs, loads of different colours, and the, the samples that we've had, we've taken out to the the, the Motone dealers. They've all loved it. Um, it'd be Liberty Leisure will be the brand. But they're, they're just, you know, they're, they're very sort of, um, they're soft, they're thick, they're, they're, they're insulated at night, so they don't have an open back on them, some of them, so it's all well and good sat in your chair in the day in the sun, but when it gets to night time, if you've got an open back, it, it you know, the back of your, just above your bum is freezing, so there's none of that. So when they come in, I would say those. And then there'd be a lot of dealers that we be stocking them as well. There's been some thought into them, haven't there? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They, they look fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I've been using, I've been using my samples. They've come out of the boot of the car and they're in the garden now. <laughs> <laughs> they were there, do they? <laughs> oh yes, yeah. And I so say three kids jumping around. They live. Uh, they're strong as well. Anything yeah, new with me? I'd uh, pick this year. Like, I know it's a silly question, an awkward question to answer, but is there anywhere you're going with me? I don't know what. Or... Well, so the, the furniture, you know, is 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 something that's um, we've brought in. Um, we've got our own uh, three-way cooler as well, so cool box. That's something new that we've um, we've brought in. So it's our own brand again, Liberty Leisure. So, so but it's we're, we're constantly looking at new things and and. You're getting feedback from the dealers. You know. How does that process go then, Pete? Just explain to me. How, how does that process go from looking at the different products? How, and how does it end up on your shelf? Well, say so that's that wouldn't be my my area normally. I think um, there's a couple of people in the office who are fantastic at this. So you can say, "We're after this." I've been asked for X thing. Um, can we get it? And and they will run off and um, speak to various manufacturers. They've got contacts all over the place and uh, they may have come across something similar in the past and, and before you know it they go we can get this we can get that this will be the price what do you think so so this it's it's down to a couple of other people who who, who do that um and then you know because we we have um, close relationships with a lot of manufacturers we can go to them and go we've been asked for this you know is this possible or or they come to us with a potential new product and it goes the other way we're thinking of doing this what do your dealers think is this a goer sort of thing so it's, it's different processes you know hmm. uh no just interested to see where everybody is going generally i mean it's going to be very interesting when we do come out of this yeah i think there's gonna be um staycation I mean, is, is, is going to be the buzzword i think isn't it um there's gonna be yeah. less flights or what flights there are, are going to be expensive so it's going to push more people to holidaying within the UK, which, which which is good because I think it may introduce a whole new raft of people into either be canvas you near know, tents, camping or caravans or motorhomes that wouldn't ordinarily have done it or thought about it. But, but the need for a holiday is, is such that they'll give this a go. 
Mm. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot more interest out there in most drones. We, we, yeah. We're very surprised. I'm yeah. sure, Jason. When, when do you go back, Jason? June the 1st. you open back up again? June the 1st. Yeah. Well, as long as you tell us we can open in June the 1st. Well, yeah. Okay. Mm. That's that seven, six, seven days. Week tomorrow, isn't it? I'd, I'd imagine that the higher business will be will be very good as as a as a way of people dipping the toe in the in the water. You know, do we buy a motorhome? Let's let's hire one and and have a go in that. You know, I think, I think the higher yeah. companies will be will be very busy off the back of this. You're all back. Are you back in now? At the mini out here, Pete. We're not fully back. I mean, we we never shut because of this the, the OEM side of the business. Um, yeah, we, we're supplying manufacturers and specialist vehicle um, producers there for the MOD, for instance, or, or ambulances. So, so we've maintained the sort of core level of staff um, within the warehouse, uh, office staff that could work from home. I've been work, I'm constantly working from home, so we're not fully back yet. Um, we just got to wait to see how the market develops and, and what news comes from from the government. You know, and and. and we're planning accordingly, so um, we're just waiting to see what, what we can and can't do at the moment. Pete, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's very different. Yeah. never done anything like this before. You didn't expect sat did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> that has just gone back in time. It's bizarre. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Pete. Uh, Billy had products, one of the biggest suppliers to trade. Um, hopefully we'll see some more of you, Pete. You will indeed, yeah. I've enjoyed it. So Brilliant. I'm, enjoy the, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the show now. I can watch it without having to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We might get a sat nav question. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> are, you, are, you wait, are you ready for the text messages from all your colleagues? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be... Yeah. God. Maybe stuff I've said or done or whatever. Like, oh, God. <laughs> no, I, don't think, I think you've done all right. You said really? it's close, close, Pete. You nearly hosted the show then. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll invoice you for that later. <laughs> no problem. So don't forget about self leveling. I can't say self leveling ramps. Um, I'll get them off you. Go, Pete, you know when the chairs come out? Yep. Can you give us a shout, Shane, and we can put them out as a bit of a competition as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, yes, yeah, it's yep. a great shout. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, All right, mate. Take Brilliant. care. Right, take care. Enjoy. Enjoy. Cheers, Pete. Thank you. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.